guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Teacher B and if this is your first time visiting, please do not forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be notified once a new video becomes available. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. In this activity, we are going to create a presentation that is stunning and unique. So let's get started. This is how it will look like. So this self-introduction has several icons on top that represent each of the slides. So for example, the first slide is about me. The second slide is your favorite apps. The third icon is about your favorite books. And then the fourth icon is about your hobbies. And then the fifth icon is your contact details. So once you go to the next slide, this icon scales up and then the title appears and then the information about yourself shows up and then when you go to the next slide same thing that icon will be scaled up and then the title appears and then the information shows up so let's get started so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to click layout and then click blank so we are going to start with a blank slide and then before we start I am going to get a color scheme that I'm going to use for this particular presentation. So I'm going to go to coolers.co and then I will explore trending palettes. For those of you who do not know coolers.co, it is a website that provides you color schemes that you can use. So I am going to choose a color scheme and this is the color scheme that I am going to choose. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and then I'm going to put it below the slide. So there is my color scheme just below my slide and we are going to put a circle. I'm going to click insert, shapes, and then circle. And then I'm going to press the shift key so that it's a perfect circle. I am going to make the fill as color white. And then I am going to make the outline as dark gray. I'm going to make the weight two and one fourth point. And then there is my circle. So I am going to create several circles. So I'm going to press option and then I'm going to drag it here, option and then drag it here, option and then drag it here, and then another option and drag it there. So I have five circles and then I would like to make sure that these are aligned properly. So I am going to highlight all of them and then in the shape format make sure that the shape format tab is selected click align and then select align top and then click it again and then distribute horizontally and then it will be distributed horizontally the circles are big for me so i'm going to highlight them again i'm going to hold the shift key and then place my mouse pointer on the lower right side and then drag it in so that they will become a little bit smaller if you are going to take a look it's 0.9 inch by 0.9 inch. Now, if you would like to make it bigger, you can also type it here instead of adjusting it here. You can probably type here 1.1. And then you notice there is a box here. You can lock the aspect ratio so that it will be resized proportionately. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to click here and then you will notice it became 1.1 as well. So make sure that this is checked every time you resize an image, otherwise your image will be distorted or it will not be proportional. So that's, that's how we're going to resize. But as I said, I'm going to make it like 0.9 because I would like it to make it a little bit smaller. So that is the size for each circle that I'm going to have. And then I'm going to move it a little bit here. And then I'm going to insert icons for each of the circles. So I'm going to click insert and then icons. And then I'm going to search for the icons for this. Now, if you are going to use your own presentation, you can choose your icons however you want. But for this purpose, I am going to choose icons for introduction or for self-introduction. The first icon that we are going to get is a person. I'm going to select it. I'm not going to click the insert button yet. We are going to do that later once we select all the icons that we need. So the second one will be a laptop icon. The third one would be a book icon. And then the fourth one will be a camera icon. And then the fifth one will be a mail icon. So we have five icons that we just selected. We are going to click insert and all the icons will be inserted on top of one another. So I am going to resize them. I am going to put the mouse pointer on the lower right side of one of the objects. Make sure that all the objects are selected. 
until it becomes a double headed arrow. Now I'm going to drag it in and then the size now becomes 0.54 inch by 0.54 inch and you can see it here in the height and then the width of the object. If you would like to type it manually, that's fine as well. So for example, let's try it. I'm going to undo it. Okay, so right now the size is 1 inch and then I would like to make it 0.54 inch by 0.54. But make sure that this is checked so that it will be proportional. Now we're going to put the icons inside the circle. Make sure that the icon is in the middle and you will know that the icon is in the middle if you see the red line in the middle of the icon. And then I'm going to put the laptop icon in the middle as well. I'm going to put the book icon on the third circle. I'm going to put the camera on the fourth circle and then the mail icon on the fifth circle. Let's apply the color for each of the icons. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to click the shape fill and then I am going to select more fill colors and then I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and then I'm going to choose this and then click OK and then it was changed. I'm going to go to the next icon. I'm going to click the shape fill, more fill colors, eyedropper tool, and then the next color and then click OK. And then third icon, shape fill, more fill colors, and then eyedropper tool and then click this one and then click OK. And then this one, shape fill, more fill colors, eyedropper tool and then this one and then click OK. Now this last color I'm going to use this later for my text. So now the colors that you get from coolers.co you don't necessarily need to use all of those colors. You can choose the color that you like. So for example you can deviate from the colors that you have here. For the last color I'll probably use a purple color. So there it is. Those are my colors. And the next thing that we are going to do is group the icon and the shape object, which is the circle. So I'm going to click the circle first and then select the icon while holding the shift key on my keyboard. And then I'm going to right click and then select group and then group. Or I can hit option command and G. So I'm going to click the circle first, press the shift key and then option command and G and it will be grouped. I'm going to select the circle, press the shift key and then option command and G and I'm going to do the same thing with the rest. So now that we have grouped them together, we can duplicate now the slides. So I am going to go to the slide panel. I'm going to press command D five times. So in total, we are going to have six slides. Uh, and then let's go to the second slide. And then we are going to make this a little bit bigger. So I am going to hold the shift key and then place my mouse pointer here on the lower left side. I'm going to drag it out. I am okay with 1.51. And then I am going to drag it here. Make sure that it is in the middle. So you will notice that it is in the middle if there is a horizontal line on the icon. So that's for the second slide. Let's go to the third slide and then we are going to resize this as well. We don't need to adjust it by dragging out. We can just go to graphics format and just like type 1.51. Make sure that this is checked and then click here and then it becomes 1.51 and then we can just like move it. So once this icon becomes active, the color of the icon and the background will be reversed. So the color of the icon will be white and then the background color or the color of the circle will be color red. So let's click this one. And I would just like to remind you that we grouped this a while ago. So when we click the fill color and change the color, all the colors of the objects here will be changed. I would like you to click again the object. So now that object is selected. So I am going to click red and then I'm going to click the icon and then I am going to make it white. So that's how you're going to do it. So that's that and then let's save it and then let's select all the slides here on the slide panel. So I'm going to hit Command A. Make sure that one of the slides on the slide panel is selected. So I'm going to select, click here and then hit Command A. 
and all the slides here will be selected. So I'm going to click Transitions and then I'm going to click More. Let's try to run it. So when we go to the first slide, it highlights the first icon. Then we go to the next slide, then we go to the next slide, then we go to the next slide, then we go to the next slide. So now let's apply text. So I'm going to put my text here, and then I will type about me. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to make it Montserrat and then bold. And then I am going to make it 36. And then I am going to add another text box. And then I am going to put a text. I am going to put a bullet list. So that's my about me slide. And then remember, I told you we are going to use this color for the heading. So I'm going to select this and then click the drop down button for the font color and then more colors and then click the eyedropper tool and then select this one and then click OK. So that is the simple format for the first slide. Now we are going to apply animation. So I'm going to select here. I'm going to select this and then click animations. And I'm just going to make it simple. I'm going to make it fade. And then I'm going to select this bulleted list. I'm going to make it fade as well. So there it is. Now I am going to copy this. I'm going to select this and press the shift key on my keyboard and select the bulleted list. I'm going to hit command C that I'm going to click here and then hit command V. And then I'm going to just change this to my favorite apps. And then I'm going to click here and then click on the slide and then click here and then hit command V and then books I love to read and then click on the next slide and then hit command V and then my hobbies and then on this slide hit command V again to start contact okay so now let's put a title click insert and then let's put a title and then the title will be the super awesome me and then let's change the font Make it Montserrat, then bold, and make the font size 72. And then let's change the font color. Let's use the color that we just used for the heading, and then that's it. And then let's insert another text box, and then type your name by James Smith. Then let's change the font. Let's make it Montserrat as well, and then make it 24, and then make it bold. So that's that, and then let's try to run it. And I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to go to the next slide, and then I'm going to press the arrow key or click the mouse so that the text will appear. Then I'm going to go to the next slide. But one thing that I really don't like is that once I go to the next slide, I would like the title to appear immediately. So I will delete the animation for the title. So how am I going to do that? So I'm going to click here and then go to animations and then just click this number one here. Click this one and then press the delete key on your keyboard. And then the animation for that particular text will be removed. So now when I run it, see the about me shows up immediately. And then when I go to the next slide, the title for the next slide appears immediately, okay? Another thing is that we are going to apply a background. So I am going to put a background image. I am going to use this background image. I am going to right click, copy. I am not going to put it in any of the slides because that means that I need to manually insert it on every single slide. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to view and then select slide master and then I am going to put it here on the first on the very first slide and I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to paste it there and then I am going to click format pane. I'm going to adjust the opacity of the background image. I am going to go to picture. I am going to select picture transparency and then I am going to adjust the transparency all the way probably to 74 and then click here outside of the slide and then click close master. If you would like to adjust the transparency of the image, that's fine. Same thing, go to view, go to slide master, go to the very first slide and then click the image and then go to picture and then let's just change the transparency to seven probably and then click close master and there it is. And then we can try to run it. It's about me, etc. 
favorite apps, books I love to read, my hobbies, and contact. Okay, so that's all for today and I hope you learned something. 